How does Leslie? Hope you're well. Before I start, uh, I hope you're keeping safe and healthy, and uh, I wish the best for you and your family. So in this video, I want to tell you about three major lies that Wall Street and corporations have been telling you about, which have finally been exposed. They've finally been exposed to their big lies for the past few years, probably the past few decades. So firstly, what's happened is after last month's major crash in the market, after we saw a major 34% crash in the market, um, the stock market has bounced by about 30%, about 25 to 30%. So what's happened is uh, some of the mainstream media, uh, again, like Fox News, MSNBC, and CNN, who've continuously been telling you that the economy and the stock market are the same thing, now they're finally been in a, in a situation, an, an awkward situation, a very embarrassing situation. Because they have had to report, they've had to report, you know, um, a 25% increase, big rally in the stock market. At the same time, loads of people, millions of people made unemployed and, of course, without jobs, uh, without income, without any hope. People queuing up for food and things like that. So what's happened is the mainstream media has realized they can't make a good news story about the stock market going up for obvious reasons because people are suffering out there. So what's happened is a lot of these financial news media have been trying to virtue signal to you and everybody else saying, oh, Wall Street has a heart. Wall Street really cares. Essentially, what they're trying to tell you is that Wall Street really cares for you, really they care about you uh, being made unemployed and the fact that you're suffering. And this rally doesn't make any sense. It's immoral uh, or it's against moral values. How the heck does this market keep warring while there's still so much despair? There's a seething anger sweeping this country and it's directed point blank at Wall Street. This relentless rally seems unfair, it seems senseless, and it seems heartless. And money managers are cheering the most enthusiastic stock comeback in living memory? Dow gaining another 559 points today? How the heck is that even possible? The Dow's best week since 1938. Then my head. Then breaking news. More than 16 million Americans have lost jobs in three weeks. 16 million. And I agree, it's messed up. What a bunch of garbage, guys, we've known, I mean, this is so ridiculous. Anybody, even a 10 year old could tell you that there is no morality to the market. The market, whether it's Bitcoin, stock markets or anything, is in fact an amoral entity. There are no ethics attached to it. I think what's happened is because the market's been going up, you know, rallying higher, the mainstream media cannot say it's a good news like they used to uh, when they used to celebrate, you know, markets going up. So instead they've had to tone it down and because people are suffering out there, they've had to tone it down and say, oh, Wall Street really cares for you. And, and they're trying to virtue signal saying, oh, I do declare. How dare you, the decency, where is the decency? I, actually, I can't do the impression really well, but Kyle can. Have you no decency, sir? Yeah, exactly. So again, all this hypocrisy and virtue signaling about a market that's going up, when we've known already, guys, there is no morality or ethics attached to the market. So that's the first lie that Wall Street has been telling you for many years, that they, that they care, that they have a heart. They don't. Wall Street couldn't care less about you or anybody. They don't have a heart. They have no conscience. They have no ethics. They have no remorse. In fact, the way the Wall Street makes money is purely by rigging the system against you. We've known this all along. We know that Wall Street essentially makes money by lying to you and rigging the system against the average investor. All right, let's go to lie number two. So again, for many years, probably for many decades, the mainstream media, which are completely ignorant, the financial mainstream media are completely ignorant about the markets and about the economy anyway. So what they've been lying to you for many years is that the stock market is the same thing as the economy. For example, um, just, I just remember last year and early this part of this year when the markets were going up, they were saying, oh, look how the economy is doing so well because the markets are going to all time new highs. But we, guys, we've been telling you many years now that the economy and the markets are not the same thing. For example, in 2009, we had the worst unemployment numbers, peak unemployment. Uh, bankruptcies, major bankruptcies, and again, just negative numbers on GDP and economic uh, reports being terrible. That was the year, 2009, when the markets went up 60%. But of course, the mainstream media forgot about all that, right? So again, this is another big lie that the media has finally been exposed for. The fact they've been trying to equate the stock market and the economy as one and the same thing. But again, guys, we've been telling you they're not the same thing. There is no correlation between the economy and the stock market. Uh, so that's why, for example, you've seen while the market's been going up, this last, uh, this past few weeks, you know, going up about 25%. We've had the worst economic reports probably for a very long time, you know, worst unemployment numbers. We've had over 10, 20 million people unemployed and we've seen just uh, negative news after negative news coming out. Again, purely exposing the mainstream media's ignorance and the Wall Street lies by trying to equate the economy and the market as one the same thing. 
All right, guys, let's go to lie number three. So the third lie that Wall Street has been telling you and corporations has been telling you for a very long time is that they support capitalism. Isn't that true? Uh, this is one of the biggest myths and the biggest lies ever told that, oh, we're Wall Street and we support capitalism. That is one of the biggest lies ever told to humanity because you've just seen for yourself, guys, as soon as anything goes wrong with the economy, Wall Street sticks out his hands to the government, you know, like poor beggars, and they beg for money. Please, sir. I want some more. I'm sure you've seen this already in the news where uh, dozens of companies, you know, like airline companies, you name it, they're all, they're all coming out asking the government to give them money and bail them out. They're saying, oh, we're going to go bankrupt unless you help us out. So guys, this is completely against capitalism and it's against free markets and it's against conservative values. Listen, if you're a conservative, then you know what I'm talking about. Because true conservative values and true capitalism is, look, you build a business, you work hard, you build a business and you take all the risks and if things don't work out, if you fail, you fail. That's it. You don't go asking the government or anybody else for handouts. But look what these corporations are doing. Look at what Wall Street's doing right now. They're going to the government, asking to bail them out. And unfortunately, guys, that's what's happening. They're giving trillions of dollars to these uh, corporations and Wall Street. They don't deserve any of it, by the way. They got plenty of money. Unfortunately, being bailed out just like in 2008, 2009, when again, back in 12 years ago, we bailed them out. All right, they haven't learned any lessons since then. So this again shows to you guys how completely hypocritical, what a bunch of hypocrites and greedy, um, malignant, bunch of criminals Wall Street are because on the one hand they tell they support capitalism and conservative values but on the other hand what they really want is corporate socialism that's what they really want they want socialism for the rich again what we call corporate socialism so when it comes to you know giving out government handouts to people who really need it the poor people who need money to pay their medical bills tens of thousands of people go bankrupt because they can't pay their medical bills and yet here you have greedy hypocritical wall street coming out and asking the government to bail them out and give them money no we shouldn't help them out the real people who need help are again the average hard-working american who can't pay again who can't pay for their food can't pay their rent so again hard-working average people they're not being bailed out and yet we're supposed to go bail out wall street and corporations again guys just remember it's a complete lie that Wall Street supports capitalism. What they really want is corporate socialism. All right, guys, I hope this video has helped. And if it has, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video update. Bye for now.